How to install rigid insulation for circular and flat oval ductwork. To insulate circular ducting of 350 mm and larger, you can use either preformed curved sections or rigid insulation slotted through its internal face to allow for curvature. For smaller curved areas, we recommend either of these pipe insulations. Once the insulation is in place and to size, seal the joints with an appropriate aluminium foil tape. For circular bends, you must cut the slotted rigid insulation into mitered segments. The width of each segment will vary according to the duct bend and a correct width ensures good contact with the duct surface. Ensure careful placement of each segment for a proper fit with no gaps in the joints. Each segment's longitudinal and circumferential joint must be individually sealed with an appropriate aluminium foil tape. Continue the process until the full angle of the elbow is achieved. Thoroughly rub all seals with a flexible squeegee to create proper adhesion between tape and insulation. To insulate flat oval ductwork, you must Insulate the flat areas as per instructed for rectangular ductwork. Insulate the curved areas as previously explained. To insulate oval ductwork, you either use slotted rigid insulation or Kingspan Coolthermic pipe insulation or Kingspan Tarek Pier pipe insulation. Where necessary, secure insulation with adhesives, mechanical means or both. Position mechanical fixing pins under the insulation between 75 mm and 150 mm from edges and corners. Average spacing varies depending on surface orientation, as demonstrated here. On circular ductwork, you can use bands as a further means of securing the insulation with at least three per section. In order to optimally reduce heat loss, you may need to apply further insulation to flanges, joints, stiffeners and connections. The following TIKA recommended guidelines should be followed. When the insulation thickness is at least 5 mm more than the size of the flanges, the insulation should be pushed tight on both sides. And apply additional insulation where there is less than 5 mm cover. When the flange is taller than the insulation, you should 1. Build the insulation layers up and around the flange to give adequate cover. Secure all parts with adhesive and appropriate aluminium tape. Then seal all joints with the appropriate aluminium tape. Insulated duct support inserts 1. Should allow enough room for tape application. 2. Be of the same thickness as the adjacent insulation. 3. Be of suitable compressive strength to carry the transmitted loads. And insulation should be applied butt joint adjacent to the support insert. Our options demonstrated here are suitable and available in a range of dimensions and thicknesses to suit all requirements.